Warning. This video is made for a general audience. It may contain adult themes, consumer advice, and information that can be enjoyed by all ages. I need to say this because, sadly, the YouTube systems are totally dumb ass. Yes! I often talk about toys that become peg sitters and certain characters are renowned for it, and I think I'm starting to see the development of a new one right here. Now, it's when I take a look in that direction, I start to see all the signs of a peg sitter. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of this character here. And there's not a sign of any other character from Thomas All Engines Go in this part of the toy store, which is where they reside. And from everything I see going on here, it has all the signs of a brand new peg sitter. And a curious find stuck right up on the end of the aisle, away from where the Thomas toys are normally in this area, although there's not many toys here at all. There's this play set here. Hmm, quite interesting. Back in happier times, I would have reviewed this toy, but it's too dangerous to do that now. It looks like you set the trains there. One goes down that way, another goes down that way, and they follow the tracks along until there's a grand winner. These are the toy trains in this set. It looks like they've got different faces from the ones you would get if you found peg ones. Thomas has certainly got an attitude on the face there. It looks semi-cool, actually. Would you get this playset just for those toys if you're a collector? YouTube, and this is a video for parents, stupid YouTube, who will try and classify this as a kid's video. Crikey, so they're trying to destroy me on this side, I tell you. There's a very important panel to look at on the back of the box, and it's up there. That's interesting indeed. I almost have to buy this and pull it apart to exactly understand some of these track parts. I've never seen some of these before. In particular, the section where the trains start off on their journey. That looks all new to me. Uh, interesting. Some of those look very interesting. Looking at the playset there, it looks like a lot of fun. There's one thing that worries me and like I have to play with it to work it out. Would the motorised engines also work on this playset and get underneath the bridge section there? There has to be at least a 70 millimeter distance going on here, but more so on the other side, there's the ramp here. Is there 70 millimeters on this other side? Yes, this is the very, very curious part of this playset. And look, if it was happier times, I would be doing a review of this set, but it's just way too dangerous to do that style of thing on today's ridiculously set stupid tube. Do you notice something about this here? And what's missing, where's the price? nowhere to be seen it's at the top of the shelf how are children ever going to be enticed by that there and to prove my point i'm down at the level of a three-year-old i wish i could go back there <laughs> instead of being the age i am okay that's what that toy looks like if you're a three-year-old what a joke and before you do have a complete rage at me it is aimed at children three plus Curiosity has killed the cat. I've purchased this playset. We're not going to do a tour review or else I'm going to get smacked down by the system. I am just curious about the clearances going on here. Sure, it's made for these styles of toys, but will it fit the motorized AEG toy or even what came before it? Remembering this toy, this toy, this toy and this toy are all made for what's known as Trackmaster 2 Track. And on the front of the box there, it is sometimes very difficult to tell scale and what's big and what's small, but a most important thing it says there, it says push along. This playset actually looks like a lot of fun. It presents really well, but I can only give it top marks if it also plays with the motorized All Engines Go Thomas. Something else that fuels confusion is they've now got the toys looking all very same-ish. And you haven't got comparisons in store, you can easily get confused. I'm going to come and unbox this. I'll tell you what, I've been fighting the YouTube systems of late. It is just so disheartening dealing with YouTube. That's very nice, isn't it? We can't get too excited or else I'm going to get whacked by the ridiculous systems that are there to destroy us. Wow, it's really presenting nice and the way it opens up. I like that. I'm just, yeah, I'm just really, really pissed off at the site, I tell you. I've been for years. I'm just really, really upsetting. I'm not going to set the whole place up, I'm just going to look at that section. That's the, I'll call it the, the pinch point on this playset. Oh, we can't talk too much or else I'll get into trouble. This is a very interesting part of the playset. It's the top of the playset. It's the part when I looked at the back of the box, I wasn't sure about this piece. 
It's big, it's colourful, it's very 3D. It's got a nice big lever here to set your trains off on their gravity run if you're going to play with the push-along trains. But look at this, what's curious, and I've got to set this up like this, I'm going to put Thomas here running like that. That's the motorised all engines go, Thomas. It sits on this place that this part of set him on his way to an epic fail. A very interesting playset to build. I'm saying interesting in a nice way. I'm only going to build up one side of the playset because we're only looking at one thing about this playset. When parents are building this playset, and it will be parents building it, uh, believe me, because this video is for parents, stupid tube. Be very careful about these curves because there's a dedicated, looks like left descending curve and also a dedicated right descending curve and there's two of those specialized pieces of track on each side, but nevertheless, it's quite a simple build. This set relies on gravity to play, and this is actually quite tall up off the deck. The staunchons are a different design of what I know from previous play sets from a bygone era, and the staunchons used to look like this. That was a very common staunchon that used to get on. Now there's this sort of fancy, almost upside down looking staunchon that is in this play set. There's another one there, and it descends to this very interesting piece of curved double track here. Then there's a descending track underneath the tunnel here, and then it runs out to a straight. Now, the other straight, this is a trap for young players, that other straight is actually locked up underneath the engines there. Okay? Then it comes down to a combined piece of track, and you could probably have a crash here. And with a Thomas All Engines Go type Thomas push along here, I will set this train off on one side of this playset. Go, go, go. Whoa! Let's do that one more time without having too much fun, or else I'm going to get smacked down by the stupid system. So it helps if I do this first, and then put the little train there. I'll do this next one in slow motion. I can report to you this loud and clear. This is a very fun playset. Mumsies and dadsies. Stupid YouTube. It works fantastic with the native style of toy. That's for this playset. That you see when you buy the playset. But will it work with the motorised version of the new style of Thomas? So I'll have to do a little bit of setting up here. Um, important to set this up. There is a little lug here that seems to connect with underneath of the toy here, even though it's not really for this toy. Okay, I think I can turn it on here. That won't go anywhere. Okay, it's do or die time. Mattel, share price, so there we go. Skyrocketing after this test or plummeting. Let's find out which way they'll go. Whoa, ho, ho. Uh, yes, yes, yes! That's actually really, really good news. It didn't look like that when I looked at the box in store and that's what made me very curious. Let's send uh, this toy up the other way, like that. I'm scared this is gonna entertain the wrong sort of people. Will it fit under there? My goodness me. Can you believe it? We're having a stack of fun. Yeah, just like that. So yeah, uh, this is a fun playset. I'm giving this one the big thumbs up and I'm an extremely hard marker. Now look how dynamic this looks here on camera, but the box artwork doesn't really present it to be as dynamic. Maybe that shot there tells a bigger picture. So it's really nice. A playset can work with push along and also it can work with the motorized engines as well. And thank God for that. Sorry, I can't do the normal toy reviews that I used to do because we're dealing with an extremely dumbass system that YouTube uses now that is basically set up to destroy people. Uh, keep a keen eye on this style of Thomas. That's the motorized one because there are errors going on with the line work. I actually picked one up the other day in town. I'm finding lots of these actually. And once you get an error one, don't pull it out of its packaging. It is easy to miss if you haven't got a Hawkeye for it. There is a gap up here on the yellow. So all this line work is riding low. The red line here is, is low as well. And it actually rides along the running board along here, which is not the way it looks if it's done right. If you go to one which is done correctly right there, 
you can see there's a big difference there's a gap here going on there and also that yellow around the driver's cap area goes right up to the cap of the roof so that's done correctly and I can do a funny edit to one that's done in a nice factory error way and just to let the adults who watch this video understand why I'm so against YouTube kids videos is let's say if I did a review on this playset and I started to entertain children and it's deemed a children's video I would never ever earn income on the video to pay for that playset there in fact I'd be lucky to be earning 30 cents a year I'll finish the video off, I'll go back to the store where I purchased that toy, quite an interesting dynamic going on within that store on a very strange day. Before I leave, this is the toy store where it's got a chronic problem of, let's just say stock being manipulated in store, without using another word, it starts with S. Okay, take a look at what's going on here, I'll try and do this as a one take wonder. I'm not familiar with this toy, I don't ever think I'd want to be familiar with it. It has been disrupted. I don't exactly know what's missing from that. It's all upside down in there. There's this piece here. Maybe you know these items. I certainly don't. I don't want to. And this one here looks like little fingers have decided, oh, I want what's inside. Mind you, I can see the fast be with you in there. I'm not sure what's going on there, but what is going on there is totally wrong. Hey, look at this here. Look at this here. The video tells a thousand words. Okay, you can see what's going on there. Naughty, naughty, naughty. This is the bag aisle of this store, which has got a chronic, chronic problem with people doing naughty stuff. There's an open bag here. Thank goodness that's empty, but look what's on the ground down here. Dun, dun, dun. You don't have to be someone who knows about CSI to understand if you're finding this in the bag area, there's lots of stuff here. Uh, maybe put two and two together and think a bit naughty. This is going on all the time in this store. I said it was a strange day in the store because when it came to buying things, there was no staff at the checkouts. The area where you normally get service, they had the terminals spun around so you could check yourself out with whatever. And to understand why this is going on, maybe some pictures of what's going on in the city will explain things. I can't say certain words starting with C, V or P. But in Australia and in Sydney where I live, there's lots of chronic staff shortages going on and it's affecting a lot of things. And at the moment, we're in a phase where it's a complete free-for-all. We're sort of back to normal, but in no way are we normal. And to prove that even further, when you go to a supermarket to buy toilet paper, there's no stock. In fact, some stores have now put in other stock where the toilet paper used to be. And these are photos that have been taken during April of 2022. If you remember, I spoke about an Aldi trolley trap where you couldn't return your trolley, get your coin back or your token. Well, that has reappeared in a much uglier way. Now, thinking back to the start of the video, I showed one of the Thomas All Engines Go characters, which was a peg sitter. Its name is Carly. Mind you, it's not on the packaging anywhere. It's a bit unusual for that. And I think the problem going on here is very simple, it's overpriced. Its price is $12 in Australia, and that's the same as a tender engine or a character which has got another component that rides along with it. The size of Carly when you pull her out of the packaging is she's a little bit bigger than Thomas. She's got the same style of wheel set, but I think $12 is too much for this scale or size of toy. The YouTuber Extreme Trains also spoke about this price point factor in his video as well, and I totally agree with what he said. But don't write Carly off too soon, because this crane train is one of the more fun things to put on the Race for Sodor Cup playset that I half featured in this video. Carly's hook can become basically a battering ram for whoever you like to put on the tracks. My biggest fear is this video is going to be seen as something that's entertaining children and solely made for children. Unfortunately, I'm up against a YouTube system that is totally dumbass, and I've said that multiple times, I'm sure, in this video. Where I find the system is very unfair is you get one chance at an appeal, and you have to start explaining why your video is not a kid's video, and if the system decides, no, no, we're right and you're wrong, you got no comeback. StupidTube will tell you that the AI systems and bots learn 
as they go along flagging content on the site. Between you and me, I think their systems totally suck. And I'm going to regret that I purchased this toy and I opened it up and half built it. And then the system will see that as something that's entertaining children. I'm completely over this site. On this playset here okay sure it's made for these styles of toys like this <laughs> and with the thomas all engines go type push along train here i will set this thomas off okay it's quite far whoa him on his way okay he's following very quickly it's quite far Go, 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 yes, yes, yes!